We're at court, court, uh, Calton Court. I think we're saying the wrong word. That's okay. Many people don't know how to pronounce it. I've always called it Cofton or Calton, but it's actually Coton. Coton. Coton Court. And we're in Blue Bell Wood today, and we're going to have a little walk around in the rain. And where are we going to go next, boys? Coton. Up to the main. Up to the main place. Okay, so have a look. Off in the in the fields to the main part of the house. How is it organised, boys, um, for the COVID pandemic? It's very organised. There are signs all around telling you to stay two metres, and it also says stick to the right path on one way only, and do not touch things or. Because if, if you touch things that already people have touched, then get like little bit germs. Yeah, so we have to keep our hands clean. Well done. Should we carry on? Where are we going now, boys? Back to, back back to, to the court. Okay. What about the yellow markets? You can see. The yellow markets, which means that they separate. And they're also arrows, arrows telling you which way to go. Oliver's on the wrong side of the bridge. <laughs> Stick on, on the left. You go ahead of And here is a massive, here is a, here's the river. Here is the stream. Beautiful, isn't it? high rim side bank when when it floods now now need replacing your support makes this possible thank you this is the wild garlic you may not you can't smell it but we can smells very nice doesn't it harry yeah it does smell in january february 2020 the, the river arrow flooded the fog garden that it also means like washing all, all away the plants, paths and, and walkways. We're heading to it right now. Ducks coming. They've just hopped over the little brick over there. Oh god, they're coming close. Can you zoom in? Hey. Oh, the damsons. And guess what? A little fact here. You can even make gin out of this. Now, this is the garden. What a beautiful place. Also, here's some more flowers if you want to see. More and voila. Right, save it. The name Cowton suggests a settlement or farm known for the hunting of woodcock and game birds. It's believed that there were that there were, was a medieval house on the site when John D. Throckmorton arrived in 1409 to marry into the D. Spiney family. Since that time, Corton Court had been home to, to the Throckmortons, one of its UK's, one of the UK's oldest Calophic families, Corton Court. <laughs> It still has many of its original features, including its flamboyant, it, that, its flamboyant 16th century, century gate, gate tower. 
It's one of the last remaining Roman Catholic houses in in the country to re retain its his historic treasures, housing of one of its very best collection of portraits mem re and memoria of. Can't see your face, Harry. And uh, the but mem the more Bally Billy yeah. memorabilia memorabilia of one of the families of the early Tudor times alongside family on display. There are pieces such as the chemise, 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 rep, 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 reputedly worn by Mary Queen of Scots when she was executed, and a bishop coat with intricate needlework believed to have worked upon Catherine of Aragon. Put Coton Court was gifted to the National Trust in 1946 by the Throckmortons family. The family continued to live at Coton Court, continued six centuries of unbroken tradition. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and hit the bell to see more homemade boys. Bye! Bye. Thank you.